I know that a lot of you have left comments on videos I've made saying things like, you know, would it kill you to look on the bright side every once in a while? Would it kill you to accentuate the positive occasionally? And I hear you and I agree with you and I know that especially the most recent uh, edition of Five Stupid Things that I put up, the, the topical version for September 24th, 2012, was particularly depressing with the faith healers letting their son die and the violence in Libya and Mitt Romney's horseshit. So, I'm starting a new series right now, and it's about the opposite side. Whenever there's a lot of shitty news floating around, whenever it seems like it's been kind of a bad week, I'm going to come out after I put up a depressing video, and I'll, I'll do one of these. And I'm going to call this series, And Now the Good News. Here's some good news. NASA just announced that its Chandra X-ray Observatory Telescope discovered that the Milky Way galaxy has a huge halo of super hot gas surrounding it, going out for thousands and thousands of light years. This is really cool. Check it out. This halo of gas, this huge cloud of super hot gas in which our galaxy is apparently floating, has a total mass comparable to our galaxy. We had no idea it was there before. That is really, really cool. That, to me, is good news. How about this? Louis C.K. won two Emmys the other night. Two Emmys, both for writing. One for best comedy writing for his uh, TV series, The Amazing Louis, and another for his uh, stand-up comedy special. A comic genius, someone who, until the last few years, when he just broke huge, uh, has spent most of his career toiling in relative obscurity. That is good news. And finally, in what may turn out to be the best news I have to share with you in this little bit of good news, Mitt Romney, the guy who I went off on a really bitter vitriolic rant against at the end of the last Five Stupid Things video I published, looks like he is on track to lose the shit out of this presidential election against Barack Obama. Yep, Nate Silver, a blogger for the New York Times, conducted a statistical analysis of the opinion polls that have been conducted in the last month or so leading up to the presidential election coming in the next month and a half, and he uh, combined that analysis with analysis of past opinion polls conducted leading up to presidential elections in uh, years gone by, going all the way back to the 1936 presidential election, which pitted uh, FDR against Alf Landon, which turned out to be the most lopsided electoral college result in American history. It was a total squash, and Silver has used his analysis of those past election polls to identify trends that might help give us some insight into the direction that the current election season is heading, and he predicts that Barack Obama has a 77 percent chance of winning the election. He's on track to win a majority of the popular vote, and he's on track to win 309 electoral votes. Now, he only needs 270, so that would be 39 more votes than he actually needs to win the election. Not quite as resounding of a victory as he won over John McCain in 2008, but nevertheless, pretty damn good for a success-punishing socialist who has spent his entire failed presidency trying to willfully ruin the American government and economy, wouldn't you say? That is good news. A stunning astronomical discovery, two very well-deserved Emmy wins for Louis C.K., and Mitt Romney is on the losing track. That is the good news.